viewers, we are still together and we shall be together, we will go together. It's about marriage counseling, marriage counseling in Busa Makunde. Welcome back, old viewers, welcome new viewers. It's always about how we should be living in our marriages. What are our, what are our responsibilities? What are your responsibilities as, as a man? as a husband, what are your responsibilities as a wife, as a woman in that home where you are? Today, it's about the motor. There have been requests from you, my viewers, especially after that, that photo was circulated on social media. I received a lot of calls, I received a lot of messages is it the right interpretation? What can you say about this, counselor? I promise to say, yes, that topic is there on all the items that we will be, will be learning about. So, in your marriage, especially as a wife, as a woman, do you have a mortar and a pestle? What is the meaning? What is the interpretation in your marriage? Is it an important tool? Yes, it is an important tool. It is an important tool. One of the important tools which are given to a young lady going into her marriage. It is an important tool given to an old lady going into her marriage. Even those that have been in marriages for many years, it is an important tool. Both godly and literally. So I want to, want to learn about this. There are three teachings in coming from a mortar and a pestle. This is the pestle and this is the mortar. And what are these, these three teachings? Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, like the videos, share the videos. We want to avert marriage, rampant marriage dissolutions that we've been facing of late. How do we help? How do we come in? And this is why this channel is there. I always talk about 22,000 marriages that were dissolved last year. Last year, we are just remaining with few, 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 few days to 31st December 2022. But January will be told the number of marriages that have been dissolved or that will be dissolved in 2022. Very serious. We pray that the number has gone down, not. So, the complaints that you've been um, making, others who say you've been saying no, whenever you want to subscribe, it fails. It tells you to log in. Whenever you want to like, it tells you to log in. It means we don't have a Gmail address, a Gmail account. Make sure that you open a Gmail address, which is connected to YouTube and uh, Google it is connected to YouTube once you do that you will subscribe you'll be able to like you'll be able to receive notifications so if you if you may not do that go to some people who know how to how to uh, how to open a Gmail account they will help you if you are in a rural setup go to a school go to a clinic go to um, an agriculture is there, an extension officer, you go to the local court, they'll be able to, to help you open the, the Gmail account. So, this is the, pest, the, the pestle and this is the mortar we're talking about. Do you have a mortar? Do you have a pestle? And these two things, they move together. They are one. You can't work with, with the pestle alone without the motor. No. It's a pair. 
So make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Again, follow me so that we know what about these three teachings coming from the mortar and the pestle. Follow me, please. There are three, three interpretations about a mortar and a pestle. Umuishi nevende. Those three interpretations are one. One to talk about how a mortar reduces tough things or breaks tough things or strong things. A pestle and a mortar break. The first interpretation. The second interpretation. How? How? To use a mortar when there are things inside there. How are we supposed to pound? The third interpretation is almost what you've been asking about. It's almost. It's almost, but not the same. That's why at first I said, I'm not here to discredit what other people are, are teaching about. But I want to talk about Mbusa and Amafun. It's marriage counseling. Remember, it's about um, avoiding marriage dissolutions. That is my preoccupation. Avoiding marriage dissolutions. How do we solve? How do we help through Imbosa and Amafunde, through marriage counseling? And these are the things that we've been given, that, we've, we, that we have inherited. They've helped in yesteryears and today. They're helping and they have to help to those who are ready to be helped. But these things are not work alone without your employing of God in your marriage. Put God in your marriage. Let Jesus rule your marriage. When Jesus rules your marriage, and these marriage counseling that we are hearing about, that we are talking about, they will help. Otherwise, without that, without God, nothing will help. Nothing will work. So, let's go on. A mortar and a pestle, they are very important in one's marriage. In your marriage as a wife, in your marriage as a husband, very important. It will help you. Please follow these counsels. Follow all the teachings on this channel. Invite other people to this channel. So, sometimes a person on the motor who work together with a sieve and a winnower. They work together. Sometimes the pestle and the mortar will just work on, on, on their own without a sieve and a winnower. When you want to to use ground nuts, you, when you want to mix your ground nuts into vegetables, or if you want to make um, African polon, chanda, you have to break down those ground nuts into smaller particles. You have to break them down for you to come up with the fisash. You have to break them down. So you bring your, you get your ground nuts, put in a mortar, pound them using the pestle. By then, you come, you come up with intuilo, pounded ground nuts. What does that mean? And again, there are some of the issues, some of the things which are hard. You need to break them using a, a, a mortar and a, and a pestle. So, the, sometimes you'll be, you'll be faced with difficult issues in your marriage. When you just take them like that, 
If you can't break down those issues, your marriage will be on rocks. Your marriage will be on rocks. Just like you break down the brown nuts, you take them to the to the pesto, I mean to the sieve, you save them, they'll go into a winnower, and then you'll be able to, 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 to use them. So you pound, a problem comes, an issue comes, you pound it. When you pound it, you have to save it. When you save it, you get what you want, which goes on a winnower. And you throw uh, these other things. Without breaking down the groundness, you can't save them. So let your brain, let your marriage be a, a mortar and, and a pesto. My brother as a husband, my sister as a wife. Let your marriage be a mortar and a pesto. So that whenever you receive, whenever you are faced with a problem, pound that problem. Pound it in smaller particles and it will help positive. It will help in your marriage. That's it. Twenty problem is except some problems that I always talk about. As a wife, when your when that marriage puts your life in danger. As a husband, when that marriage puts your life in danger, or when that marriage puts one of the children or the children in danger, yes, there there's, there's no two way about it. Once you say, no, 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 no my life in danger instead of losing a life because a life is precious than a marriage a life is precious no wonder when we we put god first when we put god first if jesus rules our marriages no life will be in danger because Jesus Christ himself is peace. And Jesus will help you to break down those big issues, tough issues, which we are facing into smaller particles. Smaller. And then you even throw them. You take them to the sieve. You sieve them, throw the, issue, the, 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 the tough issues. You remain with what you want. And that is peace. Always sieve. Break those bad issues, big issues. You throw them. You remain with peace. You remain with Jesus. You remain with your marriage. Yes. That's it about the mortar, how the mortar is used. How you are able to break big issues into smaller issues. That's the, that's the way to go. Big issues to smaller issues when it is small. Others will just, will just look at the, at the issue. Ah, this issue looks enormous. Looks enormous. But just, ah, uh, Jesus is there. Let me break it. Using the name of Jesus. Kwasilawa. Your marriage is on its road to prosperity. Yes. Let, let, me, let me touch the second, the second interpretation. What is this interpretation? This interpretation, was it? This interpretation and the pesto, you are pounding. If you are not careful, if you are not careful, you will spill all what you pound out of the mortar, all what you want to pound out of the mortar, using a pesto. So when pounding, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Or else, in Balalashen, Shala Shale Shinun, you will spill. You should know how to pound. For example, you want to pound the groundnuts. And then you give like a five year old child to pound. 
You find all your ground knights on the ground. She, he will spill using the pest. So, as a wife, as a man, um, uh, as a husband, you should know how to pound. You should know how to pound. Make sure that when you pound, you don't spill. You don't spill. I'm saying, your marriage is a mortar and a pestle. If you are not following the counsels of the elders, or these counsels you are, you are receiving, as you pound, pound gently, carefully, carefully, what are you pounding? When you are pounding, you, are, you want to, to, to have something good out of that. So when you are staying in your marriage, we want to see something good out of that. More especially peace, goodwill from your marriage so that all people around you will say good, good thing towards your marriage. Yes. The mortar can be your mouth, can be your mouth, never produce insults, never insult your wife, never insult your husband, never insult your in-laws, never insult your relatives. In your marriage, never spill. When you pound, never spill. Your heart can be a mortar. Never spill. As a wife, be a patient wife. Be a careful wife towards your marriage. Be a careful husband towards your marriage. Don't spill. Be careful when you are pounding. That is when you are staying at when you are staying in your marriage. Be careful. Be careful. That will help you. That patience will come using these 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 counsels. Whenever you forget about something, just come back to this channel. You watch one or two videos. You watch. After watching, or even before watching, first pray. Let Jesus come in your marriage. Let's just come in your marriage so that he can help you implement these, these counsels that you are receiving. Yes, it will help you. So be careful when pounding. This is about the mortar and the pestle. Very good counsels, very good teachings. Very good teachings. So please, let us help each other. Share these videos. Share. To your friends, to your relatives. Because knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Let me go to the last part. The real issue. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Martha. <laughs> Martha, why? Martha, why? Yes, you asked. You asked. That mortar and pestle, which were put on the door, and it a generation, when you find this, it will mean there is something inside there. Um, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. The mortar and the pesto, yes, can mean a wife and a husband. In fact, let me not say can mean. That's the meaning. It is the wife and the husband. But the biggest teaching from, from it is mainly when you are buying a mortar, you will not buy a mortar alone without a pesto. 
No. It's a pair. Even in the in the preamble of this this video, I mentioned it. It's a pair. They move together. When somebody is selling men, when somebody is selling a, 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 a motor, you have a pistol sizable to the motor. When you go to to villages where real issues are, they prevent men you use a motor, that motor and that pistol specifically to that motor. When you bring another pistol, they will say no. Well, I'm gonna wait a minute. You destroy my motor. Let me look for a pistol that is the size of this motor. What will they say that? The great teaching in that is the motor is only for one pistol. Don't use a motor with a, with a lot of pistols. Uh-uh. But why? Talking about, let us avoid adultery. Huh? Oh, one more nothing. You also wish one more and car at one at one. Oh, one and car at one. No. Never, you never do that. Reserve yourself to your husband alone. Reserve yourself to your wife alone. That's a great teaching about the motor and the pistol. And that is the fact. You get a small motor, you bring a big pistol. You pound. That, more, that small motor will, will enlarge, will grow big. Meaning, that small pistol will not work. Avoid that changing of men when you have a husband. Avoid. You can go up if there is a reason for you going out, let us look at that reason. Is your is your husband failing to do what what he's supposed to do? Go to counselors. They are there. They will counsel. They will help. And you start feeling what you want to feel. Yes. Then changing men. Why do we? Why do we? Why do we avoid that? Why do we avoid that? Marriage dissolutions. Vamu ikatamata. Vamu ikatamata. Mata vamu ikat. So, you mean when your wife finds you with another man, your marriage will stay? No. Very few marriages will stay. No wonder we are saying. Did you ever day? Did I go to the Yumun Shwaisa Watu? Mother to Yumun Shwaisa Watu? Mother to Yumun Shwaisa Watu? You find that if you have, if you have like a sizable uh, motor, you bring a small pistol. It will make, it will make a hole down there. No wonder they say no. Don't bring another, another pistol. Balakanya. Those who have been to villages who agree with me. Balakanya. Did I ever day like water? We like water wish. So, if you were to, sorry, if you were to, to stay in your marriage, avoid the adultery. Umunshuwa isa onse, umunshuwa isa onse, umunshuwa isa onse, umunshuwa isa onse. No wonder that 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 motor is given to a wife. It's not given to a husband. No, it's given to a wife. I'm not saying husbands should also be no. Even husbands. Others just say no. I can't be sharing you with other women. No. What I can't do. Remain. Your marriage ends. And what is affected? The children. You also be affected. There are some wives' wives who men who are good. Let us appreciate that. Let us appreciate that. That pesto is not made for each and every. No. It's for a wife. For one. Because the Kanaka pesto comes with the with the motor. Size to that motor. It will help. It will help. So, what I want to say is, when people 
No, let me let me say. When you find like the, that picture which was on social media, you misinterpret. You find that at your mother's or your parents' home. You even conclude, yeah, my father and my mother are doing this. No. Later, or you even sit outside. You can't even knock. You just find, you just see them coming the other direction. Ah, you are outside. You even fail, fail to say something or anything. Because you had misinterpreted because of what you what you saw. In fact, when people are doing that, are you not supposed to expose it to say, ah, we inside here we are doing we are doing something? No, it's not supposed to be like that. People who have been cancelled, who have who have passed through these councils, don't expose that. That is sacred. Not even children should know. Because when you are doing that, you have big children. 25 years old children, 23, 20. These days, children at just at, at, at 16, they know what 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 goes on. They know, and then you do that every time the children sees that. So, if there's a child listening to this video, and you saw that picture with that narration of when you see this, it means inside they're doing this. No. Many other times, those who have stayed with mortars and the pistols, many other times, many other times that those things, those things were put like that. You pound, pound, pound. Maybe you are, we are pounding, we are pounding this. Sometimes we pound medicine in the in the in the mortar. Some medicines are bitter, so you have to clean that 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 that, that mortar and the pistol. Sometimes you put them together like that. Doesn't mean that there is something happening. No, no. In marriage counseling, that is not there. What is there is use a mortar properly as a wife. Keep that mortar for your husband. The husband, keep that pistol for your what? For your wife. And they, they will size up. Or else, eventually we will even start saying, no, my husband, what? My husband, what? That's it. That's it. So, it's marriage pleading to you, my followers from across the world, you are following this channel, get the real issues, share the videos, invite others, please keep your marriages. Keep your marriages. People out there are fighting for those marriages that you are uh, Keep your marriages proper. Follow, put God in your marriages. Follow these counsels. They'll help you. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. I'm on 0977 3299. 0977 Thank you for following.